pleasant good morning pleasant good morning pleasant good evening where you are at whatever time you're listening to this video um welcome back to another morning devotion without a vesta divine ministries this morning i'm going to speak to you on the word covetousness um before i get to the word let me see i would have prayer this morning asking god for your guidance this morning in this word that we might be able to fully understand it better that we may able to walk in spirit and in truth in the light of god in jesus name amen covetousness um is defined as a feeling of having a strong desire for things that other people have. Um, in the book of Ecclesiastic, it talks about the characteristics of covetousness. The characteristics of covetousness is uh, excess, excessive desire for worldly gain or lust or long for other people's things um another word for covetousness is um envy envy causes malice towards those who have more than we do envy can lead to stealing lying jealousy adultery um it also um also covetousness in the book of um ephesians ephesians 5 5 or colossians 3 5 tells us that covetousness is idolatry by putting other things before god or in place of god the bible also speaks of the spirit of covetousness or to have a covetous spirit a covetous spirit is to have a restless spirit, lusting after more. A restless spirit, lusting after more, always lusting after more. Never content or never enjoying what you have. Um, another characteristic of um, covetousness is also coveting wealth and praise. Um, sometimes coveting wealth and praise and support of man causes us or causes leaders, religious leaders to compromise God's word or to compromise the truth of God. Envy and covetousness is a distraction of Satan uh, to stop us from pursuing the things that will make us truly happy and content. True happiness is not attained by the things of this world, but by a personal relationship with God. Let us be steadfast in praying and fasting, um, knowing that this is our key weapon towards warfare, that we will be able to experience true happiness in God, true happiness in Jesus. Um, let us um, continue or let us encourage others um, and teach about the spirit of covetousness that we each will understand. Um, the, in the book of Exodus, in the book of Exodus, um, the Israelites was warned by God about lusting after others, lusting after the neighbor's sheep, cattle, lusting after the neighbor's wife. In the book of Exodus, spoke of covetousness. Uh, the, the, in the commandments, God, God spoke of covetousness. Um, let us be conscious and more aware if we are covetous or or if we if even we don't understand it let us try to understand it this 
covetousness is not um it comes from within from in the mind it begins that's where it starts in the mind so let us be more aware of our thought of the way we look at other people's things the way we view other things in this world the way we would like as as um one writer said the way um we 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 would like to be praised or we like the support of man that we compromise god's word i leave with you these few words in not our name but in jesus name if you haven't subscribed yet to our channel please subscribe hit the like button leave a comment um we are glad to hear from you um have a wonderful day in northern name, but in Jesus' almighty name.